to start the day. Sponsored by Bitter Root Furniture. Drive a little, save a lot. Yes, time for your morning sprint. Chief Meteorologist Brooke Foster will go over your weather. But first, in our news headlines, Livingston police have a post up warning that vandals are slapping derogatory and offensive stickers throughout the city on places like businesses, vehicles, parking areas, and more. One comment calls the stickers filthy. Officers are asking you to get a hold of them if you have any information or maybe are seeing any more of these stickers. An Idaho resident has to pay more than $11,000, lose hunting privileges, and more. With help from Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks, investigators figured out the offender picked up a sheep's head somewhere near Ennis and took it to Coeur d'Alene and claimed it as roadkill from Idaho, where that's allowed. Montana's roadkill law only allows for you to salvage deer, elk, moose, or antelope, not bighorn sheep. The deadlines for deer and elk hunting permits and non-resident combination licenses are April 1st. Several changes take effect this year and you do need a conservation license for all state lands. You can help develop Gallatin County's future land use map and housing strategy and shape the maps that will guide future development. Meetings are getting underway in Bozeman, Big Sky, Gallatin Gateway and Manhattan this week. After 75 years, Pyramid Mountain Lumber will shutter its Sealy Lake Mill, citing a rising costs, lack of housing and labor, and falling lumber prices. Pyramid says it lost 50 employees in the last 10 years and will look to sell the mill. The MSU men's basketball team is in Dayton, Ohio, getting ready for tomorrow's first four games in the NCAA tournament. It's the third year for the Bobcats, but now they hope for a win. Montana State faces Grambling State in its first appearance. A number of articles I'm pulling up this morning are favoring MSU to beat Grambling and move on. Well, the time is 6.58 and we are starting out with temperatures cold enough that you're reaching for a jacket. After all, we are below the freezing mark, 31 in Missoula. It is 25 right now in Butte, 27 in Bozeman, 26 in Kalispell. You're not going to need the jacket, though, for long. Daytime highs today are going to make their way to the 60s and run around 70 degrees. Spring arrives for us this afternoon with the equinox occurring at around 9.06 p.m. tonight. It's not going to feel like spring, though, during the second half of the week as we track some unsettled weather. We're bringing in uh, some showers for your Thursday into your Friday, changing over to snow. Daytime highs will be in the mid to low 40s for us this weekend with overnight lows in the 20s. Southwest Montana will turn much colder. In fact, we're talking daytime highs this weekend in both only topping out in the 30s with overnight lows dropping into the teens and it does look like some of that snow is going to accumulate for us this weekend in general right now we'll go with one to four inches in our valleys a uh, main time for some slick roadways will definitely be in the overnight hours and the early morning hours so do plan out some slick travel conditions for us this weekend and stay alert to changing weather conditions by downloading our NBC Montana weather app because we're going to keep conditions unsettled well into next week with daytime highs remaining below normal. All right, thank you, Brooke. NBC Montana is back tonight with your complete news and weather coverage. We'll have detailed forecasts for Kalispell, Missoula, Butte, and Bozeman. And we'll be going over those meetings coming up that will allow you to give your input on the maps that will uh, determine future development, growth, and housing across the Gallatin Valley.